Ron and Jill Wolforth. Uh, Ron Wolforth's Texas Baseball Ranch, located in Montgomery, Texas, with it, which is just north of Houston. Um, as the name would state, we are in the baseball training business. Specifically, our niche is in the pitching market for baseball pitching. The background is that my husband was uh, himself a former college baseball player uh, and then a former Division I college softball coach. And uh, he has always had a passion for the training and the coaching side. And at the time when he was a college coach, not so much the uh, red tape, the NCAA, the regulations and everything that went along with that. So as a result, decided that he wanted to get into the private instruction business. Now, myself, I was also a former college softball player, so it made a, a great combination. And when we, do, when we dove into the instruction business, what we found is that we were very, very good at that. At one point in the uh, business, we were doing over 800 lessons a month between us and the staff that we had. And that is, that's a grind. That is a really grind. But what we also knew is that we were doing the thing called working in the business, not on the business, that we were teachers and trainers, not business owners, true business owners and marketers. So what happened is I followed the same path, received a Nightingale Conant um, catalog with a pitch in there for the magnetic marketing course, and I purchased it. Um, you know, they're a better buyer than you are, Ben. It took a big, long sales letter to get you. It just, it just took them a little, a little piece of the catalog. Exactly. And then what ended up happening is, as is done if done correctly there was a pitch in there for a marketing seminar and that did have more of a sales letter to it and I looked at that and I'm like this is what we need to do we've got to go to this this is this will take us on to the next level so I go to my husband and I say read this we need to do this he was not nearly as excited about it as I was when he saw something to do with marketing, he said it was like he thinks of marketing as a uh, used car salesman. That was his mindset. Um, he told me, actually, that he would rather take the couple thousand dollars, put it in the backyard, and watch it burn, that that would be more entertaining, and <laughs> he would get more out of it that way. So um, I did manage to persuade him, took him kicking and dragging to the first event. But needless to say, that event turned everything around for us. Um, the big takeaway was that Dan said in there, you need to write everyone, you need to write a book. And so my husband actually does have tremendous writing skills. And not that it takes that because uh, anyone can do it. I, I can do it as well. I've started on some as well. But that changed things around. We wrote the program. We wrote the book. It was our first training program. Now, we will say we also joke about this a little bit. Ron says he sold 16 copies of that first book. Half of those were to family. But it, it got us on our path. It was actually more than that. That's but we, an important we, tip for authors, by the way. Almost all author, every author makes the mistake of giving books away to mom and grand. You never give them a book. You can count on them to buy it. <laughs> yeah. And so, and so really that did start us, um, on the path that it, it got us into the whole direct marketing realm, field, uh, industry. Um, today, jumping fast forward, we, we are the premier training, pitching training facility, um, in the country, having been featured in Sports Illustrated and Men's Journal. Again, it was never a lack of, um, quality of information and ability to teach. It was just getting that information out. Uh, and so everything that we've been able to do with our relationship with, with Dan has got that to us. We now have athletes that travel to us from all over the country. We've had every state represented at one of our events, um, as well as kids, uh, players, athletes from outside uh, of the country as well. Um, today we have an entire product line with DVDs and training programs. We run our three-day elite pitchers boot camps, uh, actually 12 of those a year. We've got our our summer intensive training program, and we're also now adding an online training program so that people that can't get into us or so that they can continue to train with us when they live in Washington, California, New York, wherever that might be, um, we've got that program in place. And then I, I think it's important a lot of times for people to know that all of this was done with my husband having no quote-unquote professional baseball career. He was not a professional baseball player, was not a professional baseball coach. Um, so a lot of times people hold themselves back thinking that you are not that guy. You can get there. Uh, as a matter of fact, today, if you just about any Major League Baseball organization, if you went to the general manager and you said Ron Wolforth, they would know who he is. 
Um, and so when everybody wants to say, well, did you ever play professional baseball? It does, it does not make any difference whatsoever. I mean, we've still, in our minds, it, things have been tremendous. We've made tremendous growth. We still have a lot, uh, a lot to do. There's so many exciting things. I guess that's one of the things that's both exciting and frustrating is that you see so many things you can be doing. Um, being involved in this group, we get so many fantastic ideas and it's always a matter of taking the one or two that you can go back and implement right now. Uh, that make the that can make the biggest difference. And anybody that's interested in reading more or finding out more about us, uh, TexasBaseballRanch.com. It'll give you an overview. And then also specifically the three-day events can be found at PitchingWithConfidence.com. So it's TexasBaseballRanch.com and PitchingWithConfidence.com. By the way, we're having this meeting in Cleveland where I have a home. We have an entire team playing professional baseball with no professional baseball players on the team. So, you know, qualifications are vastly overrated. Next year, next year you're going to have a varsity. Ah, there we go. There we go.